The street we are currently on is Yong Ha Song Jie and it still preserves the style of ancient porcelain town. My classmate and I are wearing Hanfu and we are eager to unveil the mystery of Jijo Kyun. So come with us. In the park built on the site of the Jijo Kyun, the Dragon Kyun, the old Dong Puel, and the Qingdu Temple, and many other landscapes reappear today. Twenty-four king packages are vividly visible and the scene of pottery making is presented before our eyes. The ponds here in the park are connected one by one, which is a historical witness of potters digging up clay in those days. Dragon Kiun is the oldest kiln for firing porcelain in southern China. And the Jijo ceramics are generally fired in the dragon kiln, which is named because the dragon kiln's body is long boat shaped, built from the bottom to the top, and it is slope shaped and it is fired like a fire dragon. Jizokin owns the most complete ancient kin site community in the world and it is a national heritage park. We are now in the Mao Anling Dragon Kin Relics, one of the 24 ancient kin sites here. Seeing this, I can imagine how hard the potters built such a cave at that time. The working people are really great. More than thousand years ago, the Chizokin porcelain was exported to Japan, South Korea and other countries from the Maritime Silk Road and was famous all over the world. The British National Museum also have Chizokin porcelain collections. In the late Southern Song Dynasty, Wen Tianxian rose up to resist the Yuan Dynasty and Yongke Kin workers left the town following Wen Tianxiang in the battle. A large number of highly skilled young Hukin workers died on the battlefield. Many porcelain making skills of Jizo Kin were lost. The surviving Kin workers dared not return to hometown and moved to Qingdechen in succession. The splendid Jizo Kin and Yonghe town were gradually submerged in the historical process. Fortunately, Today's Chizokin has continued its interrupted threats and has shown a new vitality. The Jizokin is famous for both its equisite and rich products, especially the black glazed porcelain products. It was the center of black glazed production in China at the time. Its original wood leaf patterns and paper cutting sticker patterns are famous at home and abroad. Paper cutting is one of the traditional folk crafts in China. The combination of paper cutting and porcelain making is a unique creation of the Jijo Kiun craftsmen. Paper cutting decor decoration can be divided into fito decor and overglaze decor. The fito decor is directly paste paper cuttings pattern on the utensil body. Apply a layer of glaze and then remove the paper cuttings pattern after the glaze becomes dry so as to obtain a pattern with distinctive contrast between the glass and the fito color. The overglass decor is to paste the paper cuttings pattern directly on the underglass wear that has been coated with high iron content and then apply a thin layer of glass with low iron content and then remove the paper cuttings pattern to show the background color pattern. After being fired at high temperature, the two layers of glass change into various skin color changes glaze. 
Over here, we have our wood leaf print, which is another decoration of the Jijo Kiun crafts. Wood leaf decor decoration is made by soaking and processing mulberry leaves, applying them to a body that has been coated with black glaze and firing them at high temperatures in one go. Because phosphorus pentoxide contained in mulberry leaves is not fused with iron glaze during roasting, the two are separated and a clear pattern of leaf veins appears on the black glaze. The appearance of each exquisite wear of Chizok Hill embodies the extraordinary ingenuity of the kin workers, takes into account the aesthetic taste of the public and conforms to the cultural trend at that time. We are now at very famous local ceramic workshop, Panjie Farm. I will personally experience the casting process with my classmates. Please follow us to experience the fun. Take a lot of skill to do this one. Why were the black glazed lamps of Jizokin flourishing? Tea sets account for two thirds of all products of Jizokin. One important reason is the custom of Tian Cha in the Song Dynasty. In the Song Dynasty, drinking tea was a social trend. Literati often engaged in tea drinking and tea competition as romantic events. They focused on the color aroma and taste of tea soup, immersing themselves in the taste of tea competition. The result of tea competition mainly depends on the whiteness of the tea foam and the duration of the foam, as well as the differences in color, aroma and taste. In such an elegant tea competition, the exquisite tea utensils are extremely important. In the Song Dynasty, white tea color was preferred so black tea cups were more suitable for weaving the tea color. The trend of Tian Cha in the Song Dynasty led to a great demand for black glazed porcelain in the market. I didn't expect that tea could be used for fun and entertainment. I never expect I can write characters on the tea. It's really interesting. Jizok Kim has stood up for thousands of years, creating unique and exquisite scrapsmanship. Today's Jizok Kim is becoming more and more popular. May Jizok Kim radiate more brilliant charm.